We have also confirmed tonight that Saipov lived in the Heritage. That's a Tampa apartment complex off 56th Street. We have team coverage for you tonight, and we're going to continue now with News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson. He is live at that apartment complex, and Jeff, investigators have also been on scene trying to trace Saipov's movements in the Bay Area, as well as this new person we're talking about. Yeah, good evening, Keith. Federal investigators have been here to this apartment complex as they work to find out who Saipov knows in the Tampa Bay area. But we are also learning tonight that a leader at a local mosque claims that he has been concerned about Saipov for some time. Carnage on the streets of New York. A trail of broken bikes and bodies for 10 blocks in a popular area of Manhattan. Now a terror task force is focused on what drove say a fellow Saipov to do this, and it appears there are a lot of clues. He appears to have followed um, almost exactly to AT the instructions that ISIS has put out in its social media channels. The YouTube video from ISIS is entitled Respite. Retired Green Beret Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann tells us it's how Saipov became radicalized. Uh, ISIS put out a video in November of 2015 called No Respite, where they told us this is exactly the strategy they're going to pursue right here in the United States. The New York Times is reporting an Amman from a local mosque in Tampa says he's been concerned about Saipov for some time, told him to learn more about his religion and not to be so emotional. The Amman claims he never thought Saipov would become radicalized. But Scott Mann believes this is the new normal. Guys like this gentleman can, can become radicalized in a range of ways, but I think what's more telling is how do they get their instructions and how do they carry it out? Mann believes the Federal Terror Task Force should pay close attention to the messages people like Saipov are seeing from ISIS and Al-Qaeda on the Internet. If we don't pay attention to what's in these magazines and what central leadership are saying, then we're going to be reactive and we're going to unfortunately have more casually producing events like this. Yeah, Hassan, Hassan Sibley from the Council on American and Islamic Relations is questioning that New York Times report telling us that he does not know any Amman at any local mosque who claims to have known Saipov. And in fact, he doesn't know anyone who says that Saipov is a member of any local mosque. Keith? All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Jeff.